we designed this so that it's not only comfortable for the medical personnel who wear it, but this device also makes sure that they breathe filtered air. And when you're wearing PPE suits for very long durations, you tend to sweat a lot. You're wearing a, a suit that's not uh, conducive to respiration or perspiration, you know, going out of your suit, so you're kind of wet inside it. So having ventilation really helps. Other thing we did was make it adaptable so we can have different kinds of filters attached to this uh, body. The really important thing is to use really high performance filters like these pink ones you see here. These are uh, rated for P100 now. A lot of you have probably heard of the N95 filtering media. The P100 is what I believe filtering out about 99.97% of uh, viral mediums. N95 does a bit less than that. So uh, this makes it extremely safe for those wearing it. And because the filter media is replaceable, it's kind of very easy to uh, swap it out at the end of your shift and you know just put a fresh filter and you're good to go with this. So essentially the device lets you quickly uh, doff and on uh, your PPE suit without wasting too much time and uh, get the job done. One other thing we did was think about how these devices will be powered. Now usually most paper devices are powered with proprietary battery systems. That makes it very difficult to use in a wide scale environment or in remote areas. So we came up with the idea of using regular power banks which are easily available in case you don't have the one that comes with the power bank you can put in a different one. This lets us uh, make our system much more flexible and adaptable. So you're not tied down to any proprietary battery system or power system. The only requirement is it needs to be QC3 quick charge technology. That's what allows us to make it run all of the electronics inside this box.